Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have our last, final Path to Glory upgrades that were just pushed live a little bit ago inside of FIFA 21. And there's only three cards upgraded. I want to talk about those three cards that were upgraded. We do not have an upgraded Jorginho or Correa yet for the showdown items, just the Path to Glory items. So GG's to EA for putting these upgrades out fast. Again, it is Monday night into Tuesday, and these cards got upgraded just a couple days after their games were played, just one day after the Italy-England final, which is a GG, right? That's the speed and that's the pace of these upgrades that I think EA would should really try to stick to in the future, especially in FIFA 22 when we have these cards. But let's talk about the cards that got upgraded. Of course, the main man, Marcus Acuna, right? The upgrades for these cards, none of them were actual rating upgrades, except for one. I'll talk about why that upgrade happened. But I think a lot of people were expecting a guy like Verratti to get an upgrade in Florenzi, but those cards were already maxed out. But again, this Acuna maxed out at his rating, getting the five-star skill move, five-star weak foot boost, making this, again, Probably, I'll say, one of the most craziest cards we've ever seen in FIFA Ultimate Team history with the stats, with the body type that this guy has, and now with the 5-star five 5-star, five star, you can literally play him anywhere. So Paredes, again, same stats for him as well, but he is locked in with that 5-star skill, 5-star weak foot upgrade as well. Again, another crazy card, midfielder, right back, wherever you want to play him, he can do it in this game. Huge GG there. Then the other upgrade tonight was actually a rating boost on Davinson Sanchez. So GG's to EA for not forgetting about this Davinson Sanchez card because, of course, the Colombia national team beat Peru in the third place game of Copa America. There wasn't a third place game in the Euros, so there was no potential upgrade. But there was a third place game in Copa America and Colombia prevailed with a 90th plus minute winner. Um, and that gives this Dominson Sanchez a plus two. He is now a 95 rated card. Nice link to the Yeri Mina that is in objectives as well. Of course, both Colombians there, a nice little green link, both cards being in the prem. So that's a nice rating upgrade for Dominson with the 88 pace, 95 physical, 95 defense. That was the only rating upgrade. Now, I think some people might be questioning, why did my Verratti not upgrade and that's very simple it's because Verratti was already maxed out he already had the five star skill moves and the five star weak foot and all he had the six wins right again some people i think failed to see this graph right here that shows after six wins no more no more upgrades so technically italy winning all the way through the entire euros tournament had seven wins in total but they just in fifa they don't get rewarded for that seventh win right that sixth win is the top echelon the upper threshold where that card will stay as a 98 rated 5 star 5 star for Verratti. Same thing with um, the Florenzi card staying as a 95 rated card as a 5 star 5 star. So what do I think is going to happen with Acuna and Paredes and Sanchez? I honestly think Dominson Sanchez could go up a little bit. Um, I, I think Acuna, man, I, I honestly think this card, even though it's just so different, I feel like there could be a price spike in here maybe today. But I think after people are seeing this upgrade, I really feel like you're going to start to see people list this card up. Again, a lot of cards here at 1.3. And we've already seen what has happened to a lot of the other cards on this market after they've kind of hit their peak upgrade, even after they've lost, right? I mean, if you think about it this way, yes, Acuna and those cards won. But as of right now, there's no more upgrades for Acuna, Paredes, Verratti, Sanchez. All the upgrades for these Path to Glories are done. So I would not be surprised if you saw some of their prices kind of fizzle out a little bit over the next couple of days. Just maybe, especially if there's, you know, big content that comes, uh, the hype would kind of transition away from those cards and into that new content. So that is one thing that I wanted to talk about. Now, I also want to kind of focus up on what happened yesterday on the game of FIFA. Kind of a quiet day, right? Not super quiet because we had two pretty decent SBCs. We had a 92 plus icon moments pack that was released. It's SBCs coming in right around 400,000 coins. SBC fodder did 100% move up. A lot of people are interested in these sorts of packs at this time of the year. And again, that's why we talked about fodder this mor yesterday morning on Monday. It was a little bit late. We knew fodder was going to be low on the weekend. And this week, it hit its low on Sunday night. I mean, the 85s, sorry, the 84s were down 
at around six and a half, seven thousand coins, kind of at their absolute lowest. The 85s were down at about 10,000 coins a pop, and now those are both up over a thousand coins per card. As you see, this content coming out today, 85 plus player pick as well, which I did on my account. I'm gonna end up doing the 92 plus prime. Um, icon moments upgrade but i think this 85 plus player pick is low-key like one of the worst quote-unquote like upgrade packs that they put out during these weeks i think the content this week was almost a copy pasta from last week on monday as well now last week i believe we also had the denmark nation players sbc which we did not have any player sbcs yesterday on Monday, um, we're kind of short one player SBC this week though. We've only had Dolberg and Paqueta, so I would not be surprised if we had, I mean, we're still waiting on a couple nation players to be released. Um, if they're gonna be doing that, they're gonna be finishing out like maybe uh, the Spanish nation players um, or, or whatever. And I think that's one nation that we haven't had quite yet. So I feel like we're still due a couple of these nation players. Maybe they release another Summer Stars player, maybe a flashback, you know, one of those player SBC type cards. I still think maybe we're due one of those this week. So that could be coming today on Tuesday. Um, but again, this definitely pushed fodder up. Now, one area of the market that really, really got pushed up today was team of the season and team of the week cards, because both inside of this prime icon moments upgrade, there were two squads that required team of the weeks or team of the seasons. And also in the 85 plus, there was a team of the season uh, or team of the week requirement as well, which honestly, I know we have these tots upgrades and team of the week upgrades that are out in the game, but people still go bananas and they go nuts for these cards. As you can see here, all Tots cards are basically 60,000 coins a piece. Um, I think some of these were in like the 40K range, uh, you know, just a couple days ago. Yeah, 49,000 coins. If we take a look at the hourly graph from yesterday on Monday, you can see this Klassen card went from 47K, spiked immediately into the mid 60s and has kind of trickled back down and well, still stayed around that 60K mark, but from the mid 60s, has come down a little bit. Again, 60K for a lot of these cards is the floor for the TOTS cards. The team of the weeks, I think these might even be like 50, 60K as well. 44K for 75 rated informs is just crazy, crazy expensive right now on the market. And I'm, it's honestly just a bit baffling. It just goes to show you how people want to get SBCs done. And this is something that you can learn and we've seen this in the past couple of years of FIFA is that people would rather go out and pay 40, 50, 60 K on the market instead of doing one of these 85 to 90 team of the season upgrades, which, I mean, if you take a look on Footbin, this SBC costs you 29,000 coins to do, even with 82s being, how much are 82s? 82s right now on Footbin are 3,000 coins a piece. And this SBC still costs you half of the cost of what an actual team of the season card rated 85 to 90 at its cheapest would cost you. So it's crazy to me that people are actually still going out on the market. But again, that's just how this game is, right? People want that and they know they can go buy it. They're willing to spend the extra 30K to get that TOTS card so they can pack whatever 92 rated icon that they're gonna go out and get. So just kind of make that mental note in your mind and know that people just go bananas for SBC fodder to get something done fast, to get something done quick. Um, people are willing to spend coins, especially at this stage of the game, than they are to actually spend their time maybe grinding a little bit extra uh, to get that, uh, you know, like an 85 to 90 tots upgrade, spend five minutes doing the SBC instead of just spending one minute and going and buying the card to complete that squad. So very interesting there that we see that. Honestly, though, I just think that SBC fodder continues to rise during the week this week. Today on Tuesday, as we look forward and into ahead, I mean, I'm expecting a couple things today. SBC wise, probably, you know, an 82 times 10, 82 times eight, maybe an 83 times 10, another one of those upgrade pack sort of things for today on Tuesday is what I would be expecting. You know, probably some of your lower tier to mid tier fodder gonna take another bit of a spike up in price, right? That is one thing that I would be expecting today. Now the content was kind of quiet yesterday and I wonder if it is gonna fizzle off a little bit because this is the final week of Summer Stars. This is the final week of Festival of Football. This Friday, it's all done, right? Even the preview packs are done this Friday. Now right now, by the way, if you ever are unassigned, uh, you can actually go in and check the store and open and get into the preview pack section. Not necessarily sure if you can open them, uh, but you can go in with FIFA points. You say yes, 
even though you're not going to actually buy FIFA points, it pulls you into the store. And I want to say this, right? The past couple days and this weekend, we've seen EA Sports do some different things with pre, uh, promo packs and preview packs. Um, instead of doing lightning rounds on Saturday, they put out 825,000 coin packs that you could only preview once per hour. Then they started releasing the 81 times 7. On Sunday, they released the 82 times 5 or the 82 plus times five. And then yesterday they released 50K packs, 15 of them, which honestly, when they release a big pack like this, and this is something we're learning about the preview packs, a lot of the summer stars items yesterday took a initial drop in price. They dropped off. And again, since this, we saw this happen last week as well, um, they've kind of risen back up, where, whether it's due to rarity, um, whether it is just due to people having not a ton to do on FIFA and wanting to go out and try some of these cards. A lot of these guys have actually gone up a decent amount. Take a look at Edison Cavani. I mean, he was, this, this guy's fluctuation is pretty crazy, right? Yesterday on Monday, he goes from squad battle rewards being about 140, 150,000 coins, goes up to almost 170 uh, before the content drop, takes a dip down to 140, like right away when the preview packs are up and then boom, is back up and he's now 170,000 coins. Harry Kane was another great example. This card was down with the supply from the preview packs yesterday. He went from 230,000 coins down. He says 213. He was actually 200K flat for a hot second and is now even back up to 240, right? It says 234, but that's an undercut. He's actually like 240, 245. Um, Jordi Alba was like 270. He's now 290. Gomez was 240. He's now 284. Uh, Sterling was 1.1, even under that. Ferran Torres was 130,000 coins. He's now 161K. So that's just one thing to watch out for is when we have some preview packs like this, you might see a market movement like that. Now, I do think, again, that a lot of these cars that we just looked at, the Summer Stars items, I do think that they are going to get cheaper on Thursday with Rewards Day. That's going to supply the market the most, just like it did for Team 1. Uh, for a lot of these items, but I just wanted to make that shout out there because you know I know a lot a lot of you guys are really wanting to trade right now at this moment in FIFA like you're just kind of maybe done in terms of trading you're just hopping on FIFA every day to get you know whatever daily SBC done you know look at the content try it out you know interact with some sort of pack SBC or whatever um, but I mean some people are still trying to make coins and th these are fluctuations that you're going to be able to see and to make coins off of. Same thing with icons. If you're trying to make coins right now in FIFA, icons in my opinion are the best way to do things, right? I just got this moments push gas on bid for 1 million coins flat, 1.001 technically. Uh, see this one here just went for a million coins flat and I sold mine for 1.097 literally like 10 minutes after I listed it, right? And there's a couple cards here still listed around the 1.1 range. So of course, if I could have got that got that one at one mil coins, I would have absolutely done that. I missed out on that bid, but just check on icons right now, whether it's moments, whether it's babies, whether it's middles, anything, right? These guys fluctuate so much. This Pushkas was 500K earlier today. He's now back to 560. Uh, 1,000 coins, 561. This Carlos Alberto was 400 flat. He's now back to 440, 450. So a lot of fluctuations all over the market as cards are getting rare. And icons would be the number one place right now where I would say to you, hey, get involved with some of those cards. Now, there is a little bit to talk about with objectives today because um, I think today on Tuesday, last week on Tuesday, I went back and looked, was the day that they released the icon, or sorry, the Weekend League Plus objectives for the Spanish weekend league that we had this past weekend. Now, if you remember the schedule, we had a France weekend league, then we had normal weekend league plus objectives with the higher number of wins threshold, which was like what, like the 10, 16, and 22. And then this past weekend, we had the Spanish weekend league with 7, 10, and or 7, 12, and 15 being the win thresholds for the extra player picks. Now, if that cycle is going to continue, then you would think that we would have an extra set of weekend league player picks, but with no requirements being released today. Now, of course, if they break the, the cycle and they do release a nation requirement, I mean, I think Brazil, I think England, there's there's plenty of, you know, they could even do a Germany. Uh, th there's plenty of nations out there that they could require uh, cards for the weekend league. Um, I don't know if they will do Italy because I feel like if they're going to do Italy, there's not that many Italian special cards in the game. And if they did that, then they should lower the requirement of those Italian cards from eight to like five or maybe six if they were to do something like that. 
just looking through some of the Italian special cards and how many that we have, there's a lot of icons, um, but you know, not everybody has icons or a ton of Italian special cards, right? You've, you maybe got Verratti, you got Florenzi, um, some of the other team of the season items, but there doesn't seem even, I feel like an Italian Recon League requirement would have less hype than a Spanish one. I know they just won the Euros. There's a little bit of maybe just hype in general for the Italian nationality, but we'll see, right? So that's one thing I'd keep an eye out for today. And if there is, of course, a nation requirement for any of those Recon League Plus objectives, you're going to see those cards going up on the market right away. So maybe, you know, you, you keep in mind some cards when you see that objective today, you could hop on the market and buy some cards, keep some stuff in your mind if that is something that you would see today. Now, also, again, for Tuesday content, really not sure what it's going to be. I know what I'm going to be doing on my account. I'm going to be spamming 81 plus player picks. These were kind of dead today. They really were not good. I, d I did maybe 25 or so on my account and really didn't hit much from it. They're still good for fodder because you get four choices. I had a lot of 84s, a lot of 85s. I'm going to be I'm gonna be finishing the Ramos SBC here very soon, crafting this card and getting that done. But for sure, it's just it seems like the summer stars from Team 2 aren't really paying out that much yet. They're not popping that much from player picks. So we kind of stopped. We didn't do that many yesterday. Hopefully today the pack weight's a bit better, and then uh, we can continue crafting uh, SBCs like the Ramos, crafting the 92 plus icon moments upgrade as well. I'll make sure I get that in my favorites so that we can craft that alongside of all these other SBCs. So that's kind of what's going on in FIFA right now. We got the last PTG upgrades. Again, we're kind of winding down in this festival football promo. I really hope this week that they drop a guaranteed summer stars uh, combined team one or team two. I guess one thing they could drop, and this would be actually a really sick, um, a really sick thing for them to do would be a player pick that would get you a summer stars player or a path to glory player from either team one or two. I think that would be an insane piece of content. If they wanted to drop something like that, I would be all for it because you'd have some insane cards that would be available in that sort of player pick. So EA Sports, there's an idea for you. If you want to take it, run with it and call it your own. Sounds good to me. So boys, that's the video for today. There's really not a ton to talk about. It's kind of a quiet day on FIFA. Hopefully Tuesday cranks it up a little bit and we see a little bit more content. But let me know down in the comments what you think about that content yesterday in this game. If you're happy with the upgrades and if you've packed any sick cards, we'll be doing a FIFA 22 video here pretty soon. I know that when there's not a ton to talk about, it's very easy to look forward. I want to save a lot of that forward thinking until we're like done done uh, with FIFA 21 because there's still going to be some more content coming out, I do believe. Uh, but there should be a FIFA 22 video coming soon talking about some of the pre-order stuff because I have some opinions on that. I have some thoughts on that and I'm kind of reading up on it right now and, and thinking about it a little bit more. Uh, but of course, FIFA 22 is pre-orderable if you guys did not notice. That is on the main screen as you as you load into FIFA. So that is there and that hype is definitely starting to build up a little bit. But again, that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Photo Count and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.